So tell me, are you a calm and reasonable person? I said, are you a calm, reasonable person? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy X here. Oh, man. I had to tear myself away from this game. For the past since launch day, for the past two days, I have been doing nothing but playing this game. And oh my God, it's incredible. It's literally incredible. But welcome to another episode of X Recommends. The series where I always, where I only recommend the best games that you guys might enjoy and stuff. And today, up to bat is no other, the, the one and only God of War, Ragnarok. It's up to bat and stuff, and I've been playing the living crap out this game. I'm pretty a good chunk, like, like I got like maybe close to 20 hours and stuff. So in that's what we're doing, like side missions and stuff like that. Uh, this will be completely spoiler free and stuff, you know. So this series kind of acts as like my impressions of the game. Basically, just get my thoughts on what I think so far, but there will be absolutely no spoilers whatsoever. No spoilers. So if you have not played the game, please go play it and stuff. I already did. I already did a whole unboxing of the collector's uh, edition. It's, it's on my channel and stuff. Go 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 check that out because that it was, it was epic and stuff. But real quick. I want to say thank you to all you beautiful people out there and stuff, especially on this video right here that has gained over close to 600 views and stuff, the battle of a generation and stuff with Elden Ring. Thank you, thank you for all your love and all your comments. So I just love seeing, you know, everybody give the different opinions and, and, and different takes without being toxic and without being free to get bullied and stuff like that. Just, just have a normal conversation and stuff you know, in the comments and stuff down below, you know, you know, you know whether it's Elden Ring's gonna win Game of the Year or God War Ragnarok is gonna win the Game of the Year and stuff. That was the whole point of me making that video and stuff. But yeah, just just having that video just take off and stuff. Really do appreciate it. Again, thank you guys and stuff, especially to all my new subscribers. So welcome to the channel and stuff. This is what we do here. But yeah, but just keep it, you know, keep it nice cool and relaxed stuff like that but you know but i have seen, I have seen a lot of people saying oh god wars went easy oh no elder ring got and some people actually got into like more like deep and stuff into it like you know just picking apart and that's what i love to see everybody's getting their honest takes honest opinion and stuff or who what game will think that will pull forward in the game awards can't wait to see that battle but anyway we gotta dive into this God of War Ragnarok and stuff. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, make sure you get out so 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 much. It's time to talk about this. So once again, spoiler free. So how it's gonna work is I'm gonna do a a this is gonna be spoiler free and stuff, and then my review, which, which will come should be it should come like next Friday and 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 in a couple days. That one's going to be complete spoilers because, you know, I, I, I got to do my honest review and stuff and, and, and talk about everything that this greatness has to offer. I said, but stay tuned for that. I'm literally stopped playing it right now so I, I can make this video. But, man, where do I begin and stuff? So, basically, the, the story so far, without getting to no spoilers, is really engaging. It grabs you. I cannot just say, Santa Monica, this is the best opening for a God of War game that we have gotten in a long time since God of War 3. The opening of this game is hands down one of the best that they have ever done. No, no I'm not going to say what like everybody else says, like, oh, it's the best in, in gaming. No, it's the best opening. For a God of War game since three, 
and three was literally like like that like the highest point that you can go but just how it sets the tone and and, and it doesn't mess around this stuff it, it's dead serious and stuff right from the start and stuff and you know and then and then and then the events just trans higher and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger so the intro to this game is incredible like hands down like it took me by surprise i'm like whoa did this happen so fast I was like whoa this happened so fast oh and so like i was going crazy and so, so sam manga you know what, what you was doing here it went what a way to grip people in and stuff and then and and, and then uh, of course, once you sucked in, then the story kind of like slows down, stuff like that, and explains, you know, a, a lot of things to, the things to you and stuff. And I, I, I was just so good. But the story, for the most part, and stuff, I love all the characters, especially Kratos and Atreus. You really get to see that father and son dynamic, especially as Atreus is, is getting older and coming into his own. You really get to see that. And I think that they nailed it here like i think they, they really know like a, a like atreus wants to find out who he is he he, he he wants to see he wants to find out who loki is what what's gonna happen a hey, ragnarok can he stop ragnarok and stuff and kratos is like i ain't trying to do none of that i just want i just want to keep you safe i don't want like, kratos does not want war at all, he he he's gonna be a part of riding the rock and stuff, and they had this whole back and forth and stuff, and you could just really feel that it's not as tension. It's just like Atreus wants to find out the truth about himself, but Kratos just want ha, just want to keep himself to, 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 to keep him safe. But they both love each other, but it's that thing where it keeps them, you know, uh, uh, separate and stuff, and it really plays well and stuff. Especially, you know, the, the turning characters as well as Brock and Sindru. Of course, you know, they're, they're the funny ones and stuff like that to break the attention. But there's a lot of jokes in this game. Like, a lot of, like, like just funny, heartfelt moments that I was like... Is this, uh, is this God of War, uh, is this Thor Ragnarok from the MCU and stuff that I, like, I literally had to thought, like, they literally took a page out of, like, the Marvel handbook and said, yeah, we're gonna just put comedy in this game, stuff like that, but it's not as, it's not t trash or cringy how Marvel does and stuff. This is, like, like, the jokes fit in to the moment and stuff, and a lot of times, it, it got me chuckling and stuff like that. Like they like they know like the right moments to tell like a, like a joke without it going like too overboard and stuff like that. But yeah, but the the, the characters are great. That's a no doubt, and especially the new characters that you will meet. You know, really like surprised me. I was like, wow, like that. And of course, you know Freya. You know. How she wants to kill Kratos and stuff. She's a real standout too, and you know you get to learn. It's amazing because you, you get to really learn so much backstories behind these characters that that you didn't uh, in the prior game, especially Freya, uh, Atreus, and stuff. Even Kratos dives more into his past and stuff, and more open and stuff. You know about his past, and you, you get to you know really connect uh, with these characters and, and, and feel for them so story for the story for the most part that i'm enjoying hands down is it's it's great it's stuff it's really engaging like like it's just it's just that intro that that intro really got me like really really got me so the, so the story for the most part is hands down amazing and stuff you know i can wait to see how it plays out and stuff but yeah Moving on to the gameplay section, you know, the main appeal to why we play games is that gameplay. And I gotta say, the combat, it's more the same. Now, that's not a bad thing and stuff, it's more the same, but, you know, as you guys can see in the background and stuff, it is more of the same, which is not a bad thing. Uh, but it, you know, it is more refined, it's more polished and stuff, you know, because I see a lot of people saying, oh, the combat is just, it's just the same combat system. It's just the same, this, it's just, a, it's a sequel. 
A sequel is not a reboot. Now, yes, everybody let it pass because 2018 was a re complete reboot from the old God War games that, that were the hack and slash. Where in that game, you couldn't hack and slash your way through, through every level. You had to think and choose your attacks and pick your fight wisely. And here, it's the same, but it's more refined. Now, there are some new skills and stuff that, that you can unlock and stuff, you know, but the skills are primary. The, the, um, uh, probably the same and stuff uh, with the skill tree, which is fine and stuff, you know. But the combat is great and stuff. It feels satisfying. You feel every hit. I, I I don't know because it's like the PS5 and stuff, but like the sound design, the weapons are a better and stuff. Like you, how you can feel the crunch and the impact. When, when, when you're swinging your axe and stuff, or you're swinging, you know, the blades of chaos and stuff, you can really feel that, you know, that power behind them. And then they added more finishers and stuff, you know. So basically, you know, you can finish people with the blades of chaos and stuff, which looks great. And I seen that they tried to go a little back, you know, with the more gore style stuff. I didn't know cut people in half, you know, you know, cut off their body parts and stuff. You know, it's it's the you, you can see a glimpse of the old God War games in this. So so the com the, the the combat might be more the same and stuff, but it's refined, it's more polished and stuff. You know, there are new, you know, tweaks and stuff. But, you know, it's not as like, oh, it just copy and paste stuff like that. You know, they really try to tweak it and, and, and stuff. And this is, you know, really the best, uh, the, it's literally the best combat system that we're going to get and stuff. And it's it, it's incredible. So and another thing that, that I want to talk about is the enemy variety in this game because, and the ball spells, just a tad, just, just, just. Just a just a tag without spoiling nothing. Santa, so Tony, Tony Santa Monica really took what people said because the two biggest criticisms from 2018 was the ball, the lack of ball spells and the variety of them, and the and the enemy variety because we was literally fighting Draugr's, Dark Elves. And basically, the, 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 that's it, but mostly Draugr's for like the whole game. But now here, they said, uh-uh. No, they they literally took that to heart. Now, every, there's so many enemy types and stuff in this game that I lost track and stuff. Like, every new location that I was going to, I was fighting a new enemy and stuff, or a new enemy type and stuff. And that and, and that's amazing of itself because they literally took that, you know, to heart. The ball spells in this game as well are immaculate and stuff really unique from from, from one from one a a a another and stuff you know you know they really like like and they different from from each other it's not the same old troll and stuff with it's a reskin and stuff like you know 28 times that we fought in 2018 and stuff no no there the, 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 there are main story bosses and then there are like 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 mini bosses stuff like that that you have to find in the world. Now these bosses you can miss. You can actually miss these bosses and stuff like that because 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 a lot of these a lot of the mini bosses are part of the side content. And if you do not explore said side content, you won't see that boss and stuff. So basically, explore and stuff because you know you know because you, I, 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 because you could be exploring. Do, 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 and literally run into a boss and be like, bam, not in the boss fights. So, yeah, so they really, so the boss fights and the enemy variety are really, really improved and stuff. Wow, well, shout out, really improved. So, can't, so, so I, I, ha I have to give them the props for that. And the, it really took me by surprise about how many enemy varieties is, is, is in this game. And I'm only like halfway through and I'm still finding new enemy types. So, that says a lot. And they pose a challenge of himself. Like a real challenge and stuff. Especially when you especially when you get farther into the game. Boy, they will whoop your ass if you're not careful. So Emmy Variety, boss and and, and the boss battles are a huge upgrade out of 2018. Now, shields and stuff. Now 
now now second to the topic of combat shields play a, a, a big part in this game a big part and stuff and they're not just like you know for, uh, 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 blocking no there are different shields and stuff like that for parrying for blocking to to absorb damage and stuff and you can upgrade you can upgrade a lot of stuff in this game and the ui has changed now it looks more fresher you know everything is more you know you know compact even though a lot of things are on top of each other and they could you could get lost in it and stuff but it looks you know it, it looks clean and stuff but did they change did they change a lot of stuff around now that you can't click um you know attach ruins to your weapons and stuff you know now not now they have a, their own separate slots and stuff you know so a lot of changes to the weapons and customization and stuff that i felt surprised i was like wow like you know but the best part about this is that now there's no more rarity system in this game when it comes to armor and stuff you know you can level up every piece of armor that you get from the start of the game to the end of the game all the way to max level and stuff and that's great because literally that 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 makes you the that makes if you find a piece of gear or a gear set that you like it has the perks that that you need you can bring it with you into end game all the way to the end of the game and stuff like that and it, and it will still be strong still kick ass stuff like that and can still level up so I love that change because you know it makes it makes you not you know basically you know being being the inventory all day and saying okay okay so this, okay so this is level three no this is level four and stuff you know there's different you know stuff like quality of life features that they add to this game that really you know shot me and stuff and and stuff so you know that's great so i so i literally can't you know complain more about the, the combat and, and the skills and stuff so yeah this game looks beautiful incredible and stuff like hands down and of course now i'm gonna say this game is like horizon like forbidden west like is it the best looking for ps5 game that we have ever seen I wouldn't say that because of Horizon Forbidden West and stuff. You know, they really came out swinging and stuff, or original claim. But this is just right in the tier with them and stuff. This is the best that 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 we're gonna get right now until developers start taking more advantage of the PS5 hardware and leave last gen behind because this game was still developed with PS4 hardware and stuff you know in mind so yeah so it it looks incredible but it's not gonna look that full realistic and stuff as you know like a completely next gen game would and stuff or current gen game would and stuff but this is this game is right up here with the details and the details and stuff like i know the details with the unboxing with the the hammer and stuff and this shows in the game just the, the amount of detail that they had in this game from like from, from, from literally like the rocks who to the wood to to how Krills looks to his beard how it flows in the wind like the majestic beard that flows in the wind like just like a lot of stuff that just looks incredible just ah just like a cherry on top so the game world and, and all the realms that you that that, that 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 you visit are all unique are completely all unique and stuff so yeah but man i like i take screenshots i i like i suddenly look like wow this looks amazing 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 but but again you know it's placing your studios so you can't so it, especially this, this is what they do the realms and stuff so this is the part that i want to talk about the most because of now you can visit all nine realms and each realm has a lot to explore and stuff and and if you're the person that loves going off and exploring loves side content and and, and looking for tre for for treasure chests and stuff like that you're gonna find it here this, this, this is right up your alley and i gotta say this stuff 
if you want to get the best experience of this game, you have to go off the beaten path and explore and stuff, you know, you know, find resources, upgrade, and the side missions, the side missions that I have done for this game are literally like mini stories within a story. The side missions in this game is literally stories within a story. Incredible. Like these, some of these side missions that you can easily miss. You can easily miss it if you just want to complete, you know, complete, you know, to, to, to the main story and stuff. We're just fine and stuff like that because, you know, they'll still be there when they get back. But, 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 but you don't want just to rush to do the main story because, you know, these would give you more background and stuff on, on the characters and stuff like that. More, you know, background into, into their, their lives before you met them and stuff like that. And they talk to you and stuff. There's more dialogue between, you know, you know, Kreas and Atreus and Freya and, and all that. There, there, there's so much more and stuff if, if, if you really take, take the time to explore and, and go off the, the beaten path. So I think that they they really designed this game with, with with exploration in mind because like I have gotten lost. Like the 20 hours that I spent in this game, about 15 of those were just were just exploring. They're just exploring the realm. So it's incredible, it's amazing, like you know, that side mission really took me by surprise and stuff like that. And I can't wait to see what others, you know, that they have because I don't know how far I am to the game yet and stuff. But, yeah, I am loving it. And I'm loving it. Now, before I wrap this X recommends up, um, you know, there are some, you know, gripes that I have with the game and stuff. You know, not, again, this game is amazing. But not every game is perfect. So, you know, even though I'm a God of War day one fan from, from, from the original, I got to take my shades off and stuff and, you know, be, be critical and stuff because, you know, you know, you know, you guys come to my channel for honesty and stuff. I, I have to be honest with you. Um, the skills for the weapons are really disappointing. Uh, not the runic, uh, not the, not the, the runic attacks and stuff. Those are, you know, those are good stuff like that. You know, all the different ones, but, but, but I talk about the, like the, like the weapon skill trees and stuff. I wish that they added like new skills and stuff because it, because in the skill tree, it's just like more of the same or, 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 or the same skills you had in 2018. Now that's fine. But I wish that they added more skills, like more ways and stuff like that, you know, to tie to, to how to how you to how you, to how you, your weapon attacks and stuff. Like so, that to me was kind of you know a little bit disappointing and stuff. And you know, I, I, I wish that they added more skills and stuff, except the the, the ones that they already had in 2018 and stuff. So, and so and the last thing is you know the, the story is a slow burn and stuff especially after you complete the uh that amazing incredible groundbreaking intro and stuff like that it is a slow burn so i feel like a lot of players are gonna not say that you would get bored and stuff like that but you know it, it but yeah but if you don't get into the story then you might feel yourself like oh my god when's it gonna pick up and stuff because there's a lot of dialogue there's a lot of talking and stuff like that you know there's a lot of cut scenes and stuff and it could be you know for, for uh, 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 for most players, you know, kind of overwhelming and stuff like, like oh my god, I just want, I just want to fight Thor and 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 and, and, and kill stuff on uh, cradles and stuff, you know. But again, that the, the the opening is amazing, but then you know, but yeah, but then afterwards, it, it, it's like a slow burn until it picks up back up again. And uh, just yeah, but all guys said, just have patience and stuff, and then you know, and it will pick back up, but. Well, all that being said, of course, I recommend this game. Well, I'll shout out the doubt. It gives, it, it gives my ex recommends stamp of approval and stuff. I'm having a, a fantastic time with this game. Everything that I, that I just said. And again, I know that I was very like 
brief and stuff like that because again, I don't want to talk about no spoilers. My review, I'm talking about everything and stuff like that. So, so, so all my all my other thoughts and stuff like that and other things will be talked about in my review. Heads up, my review will be contained spoilers and stuff. So that's so, so basically, this is spoiler free. My review is spoilers and stuff like that because we're gonna dive in to this game and really talk about it because man that throw that thor fight whoo yeah but if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you smash the like button subscribe if you're new, new to the channel make sure you feel aka channel so 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 much comment down below and stuff like that are you playing god or riding the rock are you enjoying it and so are, 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 are you saying eh, it's okay stuff like that or 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 is it a skip for you and stuff. Leave your honest comments down below and stuff. And stay, and stay tuned for my God of War Radnor and Rock I, I, I'm with you coming next week. So, until next time, guys, stay safe, take it easy. Peace. <laughs>